I'm Mother Mary Francis, and when I'm not here at Trinity Church in Asbury Park, New Jersey, it usually means I'm off somewhere working at my day job, which is being the national correspondent for the Episcopal News Service. Hello again from Canterbury. It's Wednesday, July 23rd, and it is my day off could be the only day off I get while I'm here. So I've been making the most of it. I had a fabulous tour of Canterbury Cathedral, and I'm gonna show you some scenes of that. And I ran into a very interesting street corner evangelist, and I wanna show you a little bit of what he had to say to some young people. Can you see a ruined wall in front? Mm -hmm. That is all that remains of the old Archbishop's Palace. And on that afternoon in uh, December 1170, Thomas Beckett came out of his palace through there, he came along here, along here, and went in, as I told you, through that doorway. Mm -hmm. And the knights, they went along there, along here, and followed him in. And in here, there was a silver gilt box. And in the silver gilt box was the piece of bone that was the top of Thomas's head. And if you were a very special or important pilgrim, probably a very rich pilgrim, then you were allowed in here and you were allowed to kiss the bone that was the top of Thomas's head. Jesus said, I've come down from heaven with, a, with, with this. Put this up here. Read that. Yeah. What's a gift? A gift. Now, if you get a gift, if you're offered a gift, do you know God offers bad people good gifts? Good gift? Yeah. But more than that, he actually offers himself to us because you know actually we we all we all enjoy good things right we're all standing here sun's out nice town nice place there's no bullets flying around yeah it wasn't no doctors yeah <laughs> all right so god is, god is good god is good to all of us god doesn't owe us a good life right he's good he doesn't he doesn't great but the bottom line it is god good is god good or is God ripping us off? That's the bottom. That's the bottom I line. Think yeah. that, that's the bottom. That's the question. There's many different interpretations of God. What, what do you think? I'm talking about the interpretation of this person. What's better? So they'll just go to. You don't have to wait. All right. He's from there, and he's a very well-known rabbi. Jesus. You got it. And do you know what Jesus claimed? Jesus claimed that he was God, God's son. Yeah. You got it. And Jesus said, "Look, I have come down from heaven." Yeah. He said, "You lot, you're from the earth, you're scumbags, yeah. sinners." Yeah. And the Jews didn't okay. like that. Have a good time. Those good religious people. Yeah. But he said, "No, you're snakes. You stink." Yep. Yeah. Do you know? No, I'm not. Well, in a way, do you know what Jew means? Praise. I like my thoughts. A Jew, a Jew is someone who gives God praise. Okay. Now, God, God created mankind for His praise, for His glory, for His honour. Do you know what the bottom line about sin is? 
We don't give to a place, we don't give him thanks, we don't give him glory, we don't give him honour, yeah? yeah? We say stuff you got.